Okay guys, so this is going to be solving rational equations examples. Um, so a rational equation is anything that has a fraction in it. Okay, so we're going to be doing a lot of common denominator work and some factoring in here. Uh, there is one additional step that you have to deal with when dealing with fractions. So you have to deal with restrictions. So it will be the last step we deal with in each problem. Uh, a restriction is where the denominator comes out to be equal to zero. Okay, so we're going to get a common denominator in the first one. The bottom is going to be missing a 3. This one's going to be missing an x plus 3. And this 6 is over 1, so it's missing a 3 and an x plus 3. Okay. So we're going to clean up the numerator. 3 times 10 is 30, plus 10x plus 30 is equal to six times three is gonna be 18 times x plus three. Okay, combine our like terms so we get 10x plus 60 is equal to 18x plus 54. So we're gonna get all our x terms on one side and all our other terms on the other side. So we get six is equal to eight x. So x comes out to be six over eight, also known as they're both divisible by two, so three fourths. Now, we have to do restrictions. So our restrictions in this case are going to be where the denominator is equal to zero. Okay? The only place the denominator is going to be equal to zero, so this is our common denominator, right? Or LCD, least common denominator. So we'll take this and x cannot equal to a negative 3. Okay, so you solve for it. Solve for it and then put the can't equal to. Now, if our answer is a restriction, we just cross it out. And sometimes these come out to be no solution because everything cancel, uh, everything's a restriction. So don't be surprised by that whenever you see these uh, problems. Okay, the next example problem. We've got to factor this down. So x times x minus 2. This has the x, this has the x minus 2. Okay, so the second term is going to be missing an x minus 2 on top and bottom. And the third term is going to be missing an x on top and bottom. So once we get that common denominator, we're just going to be dealing with the top. Okay. Uh, we're going to distribute the 4 out. So 10 plus 4x minus 8 is equal to 5x. And 10 minus 8 is 2. And move that x over there so we get x is equal to 2. Now we have to do restrictions for this. Okay, our restriction is going to be our least common denominator, so x times x minus 2 is equal to 0. So we know that x cannot equal to 0, and x cannot equal to 2. So I'm going to go back and look at my answers. Okay, do any of my answers fall into the restrictions? Yes. Okay, so we cross it out, and we say no solution. And there's nothing special about that. Okay, the next one. Um, we have a common denominator on both sides, so we're just going to be dealing with the top. So x squared plus 2x plus 2 is equal to 2x plus 3. Uh, we have a 2x on both sides, and we're going to move this over like that. Okay? So our whole goal when we have parabolas, x squared terms, is we have to make sure it's set equal to zero before we do anything. So this factors down to x plus one, x minus one, or you can move the one over in square root, doesn't matter. So we get x is equal to one, uh, and x is equal to a negative one. Now we have to go through and do our restrictions. So we're gonna go over to the side, And we're going to take our denominator. So our denominator is x minus 1. And we're going to set equal to 0. So x cannot equal to 1. Okay. Do I have any answers that fall into a restriction? Yes. So we're going to cross it out. So the only answer is x is equal to a negative 1. Okay. On to the next example problem. Let's see if... 
makes it a little bit better to where there's not, yeah, there's not a shadow going. Okay, so uh, on this one, so let's start with the left term, and we're gonna factor out GCF, two times X plus two. Common factor here is gonna be X times X plus four, and there. I would not have to do anything with that. So we're gonna ask ourselves what each one's missing. So this one's gonna be missing an X and an X plus four. This one's gonna be missing an X plus two and a two. Okay, and this one's gonna be missing um, an X, let's see, it's gonna be missing a two, X and an X plus four. Okay, I think I did that right. Okay, so we're gonna deal with the top and we're gonna clean up the top. So eight X times X plus four minus three X plus one times, I'm gonna go ahead and distribute that two out. So we get two X plus four is equal to four X times X plus four. Okay, uh, we're gonna FOIL and distribute a whole bunch of stuff. So eight X squared plus 32X minus six X squared plus 12x plus 2x plus 4 is equal to 4x squared plus 16x. Okay, distribute your negative sign out. So that's going to be minus 14x minus 4 is equal to 4x squared plus 16x. Okay, um, now since we're dealing with quadratics, we're gonna uh, get all our x squared terms on one side. So uh, it's all up to you. Since we have more terms on this, let's go ahead and clean this up real quick. So 8x squared minus 6x squared is 2x squared. 32 minus 14, yeah, 32 minus 14 is 18x minus 4 is equal to 4x squared plus 16x. Okay, uh, you can move everything over to the right side if you want to. So 2x squared um, minus 2x plus 4. Okay, they have a 2 in common, so let's factor that out. And this is going to factor down to x plus 1 and x. Oh, that's not going to factor. Yeah, that doesn't factor. Because it would be a minus minus. So, um... Let me just double check real quick, make sure I didn't mess up anywhere. It's really easy to mess up on these questions, so just keep that in mind. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and use quadratic formula. One plus or minus square root of one squared minus four a c. So you're gonna get imaginary roots. So this is gonna be no solution. And I can look at this real quick if I need to in the calculator. Let me just show you. Um, just to check yourself and I can see if I messed up or not. So when I put fractions in the calculator, I am going to use parentheses around the top and the bottom. 
minus parentheses 3x plus 1 over x squared plus 4x. And I'm going to move this term over minus 2 over x plus 2. I'm going to graph it. Uh, it does cross. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to have to relook at this. Uh, so let's start from the get, get go again. By the way, this is the second time I've had to redo this video, so I don't want to redo it again. Also, you need to make sure you read the problems correctly. That could be what I did wrong. Okay, so I'm going to rework it and hopefully I get the same answer. If not, then we'll call it a day on that. Okay, so these have a 2 in common. So we're going to factor out a 2. This has an x in common. And we don't do anything there. So this one is missing an x plus 4 and an x plus 4. And it's also missing an x. Okay. This one is missing a 2. And it's missing uh, an x plus 2. And this one is going to be missing an x, a 2, and an x plus 4. This one's missing a 2x and an x plus 4. Great, my red pen's going out. Okay, so we're going to be careful when we do this this time. So 8 times x squared plus 4x minus... Distribute that out, it's 2x plus 4. It's equal to, um, go ahead and multiply that out. So it's going to be, so that's going to be 4x times x plus 4. Okay, so. 8x squared plus 32x minus 6x squared plus 12x plus 2x plus 4 is equal to 4x squared plus 16x. Uh, same stuff I got earlier. Okay. So distribute your negative out to everything. That's 14x in the middle. So we get 8x squared plus 32x minus 6x squared minus 14x minus 4 is equal to 4x squared plus 16x. Same thing I got earlier. Okay. Um, combining our like terms, 32, so it's 18, uh, so it's 2x squared plus 18x minus 4 is equal to 4x squared plus 16x. Okay, so I'm going to move everything over. 0 is equal to 2x squared minus 2x plus 4. And I'm just going to double check and make sure... Nothing crosses. Yeah, nothing crosses there. So I get no solution. Okay, so I'm okay with that. No solution. I must have typed something in the calculator wrong. Okay, so comes out to be the same thing. I graphed it. We're good. Sorry for that brief delay. Okay, next question. Uh, so we're going to have to factor here. So we got 2x and x. 
minus six and plus three, like that. If you don't know how to factor, also look at the other factors on the bottom. You're probably gonna need one of those uh, when you factor and break stuff down. Okay, so um, this term is gonna be missing nothing on the bottom. This one's gonna be missing a two x plus three. And this one's gonna be missing an x minus six. Okay, so we're just gonna be done with the top. So it's x minus four is equal to x times two x plus three minus two x times x minus six. Okay. And distribute. Okay, your x squared terms will end up canceling. 3x plus 12x is 15x. Okay, so I get negative 4 is equal to 14x. So x is equal to negative 2 sevenths. Okay, now we go and do our restrictions out to the side. But we didn't have to do a restriction on the previous problem because it was already no solution. Okay, so our restriction is where our common denominator is equal to zero. So x cannot equal to negative three halves and x cannot equal to six. So none of those show up in our answer, so we're good to go. Okay, next one x squared minus four factors to x plus two, x minus two. Okay, this one's gonna be missing an x plus two. Okay, so we're just gonna be done with the top. So eight, eight x minus eight is equal to four x plus eight. Move all your x's over. So we get x is equal to four. Now we gotta go do restrictions. So our restrictions, set our denominator equal to zero, so x plus two and x minus two is equal to zero. So x cannot equal to two, x cannot equal to a negative two. Okay, and none of those fall into our restrictions, so we should be good to go. Next one, okay? So there's nothing to factor in this one. The first term's gonna be missing an x minus two. Second term is going to be missing an x minus 1. And your third term is going to be missing both x minus 2 and x minus 1. Okay? Because it's over 1. So we get 6 times x minus 2 plus 2x times x minus 1 is equal to 2 times x minus 2 and x minus 1. So 6x minus 12 plus 2x squared minus 2x is equal to, let's foil this out, x squared minus 3x plus 2, and distribute your 2 out. Okay, we've got 2x squared on both sides. 6x minus 2x is 4x minus 12. Okay, so we get 10x is equal to 16, so x is equal to 16 over 10, which is 8 fifths. And we're going to do some restrictions now. So we're going to say x minus 1, x minus 2 is equal to 0, so x cannot equal to 1, x cannot equal to 2. Okay, so both, both of the, none of them. Uh, are in the answers, so we're good to go. Uh, sorry for that little mishap on the top example. Uh, I'm gonna double check and make sure everything's good to go before uh, actually lecture on this uh, in class. I don't. I just redid all of um, all of these problems uh, when I redid this class, so um, I haven't had a chance to work through any of these problems. So. Um, I've worked through the practice problems. I just haven't done the example problems. So if it's an error, I'll let you know um, when we do this in lecture. So thanks and have a good day.